Let's go on. Let's go on crude first. I mean gold before it takes off here. Go on gold or go back to crude. All right. What you want to do on J signal? I'm on gold right now in this last trade setup. The long was 1298.80. Got as high as 1306.50 already. Over a $700 plus trade just per one contract. Symmetry dot scaled on the way up. Is a beautiful retracement long. The best way to trade J signals with five minute trend. Now I got proprietary. I, I got a uh, five minute uh, fi a trend filter built into this proprietary algorithm. You can overlay it right over top J signal. It's built into J signal. I'm not showing it here because we got our five minute black chart showing that was trend was up. So trend was up. You look for a breakout. You look for a retest. You look for the arrow. The arrow caught the exact low. Right here's the arrow long. Let me blow it up for you. But there's the arrow long. Once that arrow fires off, that price should move within three bars. If it doesn't start moving, then we're not catching the exact swing of the move or it's trying to W bottom or M top. If it goes sideways by more than 10 bars, it's going to be outside this black line. I would just take a small loss or a small profit. Typically, you can take a couple tick loss or a couple tick profit if it's not going to do anything. It should take off right away like this. There's your green arrow. And it immediately shot straight up with five minute trend. Now the only time you can go against five minute trend, we had another trade like this on gold this morning, is like this. Here's what here here was against five minute trend. It's very important you understand this concept. And you can do very, very well with J signal. Your market profile levels. Here's the only time you can counter trend trade J signal. Other than that, it's five minute trend. You must understand this. I got high value area here, or I call it HVA in your own ninja charts. High value area, HVA. You have to understand this concept. If you do this, then you're going to be off to the races in all markets. This works the same way in all markets, the same exact setup. I use a three sim Renko for one reason, to catch these counter moves with market profile and trend moves. They work really well in the three sim Renko because I get a lot of good L8 wave cycles on the three sim. So I got, oops, I got LVA, which is green, on your own ninja charts, which is low value area. I got high value area, which is red. We had the same trade yesterday that I marked up on the charts where we nailed crude oil on the downside, two trades in a row. It broke out a high value area. Immediately when it does it, you're going to look for a retest long. When you get that pullback, you're going to hear your ninja trader start beeping when you get these blue fib dots. Because it's above the black line, you won't get any red counter trend trade dots. None. You're not going to get any with it. Only with trend. That tells you wait for the arrow. Once a green arrow pops up, look how small the stop was. Extremely small stop for a $700 plus trade. Look how tiny that stop was. It's, it's so gorgeous. Here's your entry right there with the arrow on gold. Look out and then the stop line drew right below it. If it closes, a body candle below it, wicks don't count, a body candle below this black line, you stop yourself out. Look how tiny our stop was on the $700 plus trade, just like that. That's how you trade it. This is the best setup you can get with JSON with the three sim Renko. This is the best setup you can get. You break out a high value, it's very bullish. You retest, you, have, you, you retest, meaning you have a retracement. You get the fib dots, you get the arrow. You cannot get better setup on the three sim Renko than this setup right here. And this was counter against, it's just start crossing over the five minute. It's pretty much down all morning. You can only take counter trend trades against the five minute moving averages. If you break outside of HVA, retest. Break below LVA, retest. Break back inside of HVA, retest. Break inside of LVA, Retest. That's how important market profile is. Market profile has been around since 1985, and it's worked for nearly 30 plus years in a row for a reason. It catches the order flow. It really works great today because all these algorithms out there, these banks, these prop firms, these hedge funds, all of them, almost 80 to 85 percent, is electronically traded now. It's no longer the pit trader. The pit trader has, does not have the control of the market like they did in the 80s and 90s. We have the control. We're right with these guys. We know exactly where the electronic trading is coming in. Because I put into my Fibonacci, there's some algorithms that just use Fib by itself. 
my automated fib dots will pop up. Now I got the Elliott wave cycle with the arrow. Call it the Elliott wave cycle. So now I got market profile letting us know when we break out of HVA. So the three sim rate, I don't care what market you trade, you break out of HVA, you look for a retest, you look for the blue fib dots long. Okay? Very important right here. HVA means very bullish. You get above it, it's very bullish. This is bullish. Like I said, I keep telling you guys and gals, two, three days a week you can be done by 9 o'clock in the morning by starting at 7.45 in the morning. A lot of times we're done the first hour of trading with this stuff because we're trading futures. We're not trading stocks. We're in here. We're trading the pre-market. There's the LVA. If it gets below that, it's very bearish. You look for fib dot short. It's that simple. We create great support and resistance. ABC long, ABC short. Very simple ABC pattern. It's one of the simplest patterns I learned back in the early 90s from Larry Williams. I was watching him trade the bond market. Really caught this pattern up from him. He's one of the top traders I've ever been around that trades futures. And um, really caught that ABC pattern. Really hit home. And I've been doing it ever since then. Really great uh, pattern. Break LVA, retest LVA. Break out HVA, retest HVA. I just made it in, in my own simple terms where to get into the exact bar. This J-signal will do that for you. Okay? So that's the setup. Now here with trend, it was an ABC long. See, this is against trend at 824, so you don't, you don't want to take against trend trades. But this one was with trend. Simple ABC, breakout. Retest, green arrow caught that long too. So two back-to-back -back trades. Two back-to-back -back trades, two big ones right there. Right to the exact arrow. Okay? Now this is an Elliott wave cycle. All right? You know this is a third wave. Why? This is how I teach you. Now this is very, very important you understand this. If I come from a recent low, I just got a recent low. And I see J signal fire off a trend change, that big blue arrow. I know I'm in wave possible three long. This is a wave three long. Wave three is your impulse wave. This is your longest leg of Elliott wave. Elliott wave's been working since 1930. 1930 and it still works today. And it works great today because it's electronically traded algorithms out there. There's a number three long, wave long right here. Perfect Elliott wave cycle. You know why? Why is that a perfect Elliott wave cycle, gold traders? Because what did it do? It retraced what? What do I teach you? If you have a recent low and you get a trend change, why do you know that's a possible wave three when the arrow comes up? Why? What gave you the tip off? What's the tell that that's your longest leg up when that arrow fires? It's a, we, we already got the arrow, but what's, what's the tell? Because it's retracing 62 to 76% retracement from the prior leg. And, that, and, and you don't have to do anything else about that. You don't have to overthink this, guys and gals. I don't care if you traded the market 40, 50, 60 years. I don't care if you traded one day in your life. You have to make this simple. Keep it simple. It's a KISS method. If you just come off of a low and you get a trend change and I retrace from this leg between 62 to 76% and I get the arrow and I'm above my black line, that is a possible wave three long. This is your longest impulse wave. This is called an impulse wave. Elliott wave has five waves. The two longest legs are the Elliott wave three and Elliott wave five. I want you to get on three and five. And these are all arrow based for you. It's not hard. That is the, it's called an impulse wave. I will make you guys professionals at Elliott wave just when these arrows come up, by just by doing this qualification. It's called an impulse wave. This is why we're catching these long trades, $700 trade here, potential. Long trade here, big trade right there, $600 trade potential, right? You're catching these Elliott waves. Here's the recent high. This is the Elliott wave three short, even on the counter. You would not take this. Uh, this is a trend, I'm sorry, because it was in a downtrend at the time, five-minute downtrend. That's a three. Why? Because it was a 62% when the arrow came up. 
62% retracement right there. That's a wave three. It's a wave three down. These are, if you catch the wave three, guys and gals, you're catching the biggest leg of the market on all, all markets. Okay? Here's the thing. Here's the tip-off for you. Now, let me give you the tip-off how this thing works. If, if you're not familiar with Elliott Wave, don't go get an Elliott Wave book. Uh, do yourself a favor. Don't confuse yourself because you can read a book. You can read a market profile book there, 1,000 pages, 1,000 page Elliott Wave, and come away scratching your head. I made this simple. You don't need all that stuff. I'm telling you how you work. If you get a recent high, let's look at these two. Here's a recent high. There's, your, there's one, two, three. Simple ABC pattern. Think of it like this to make it simple. ABC long, ABC short that stops within 62 to 76 percent retracement. The easy ones are with the trend change on J signal. That's the easiest way I look at it. The one, two, three cycle, ABC cycle, catching that third leg, is off of a recent high. Here's a recent high, right? Here's the easiest way to look at this when you're doing this. Here's a recent high. Then you get a trend change knowing you're possibly going into wave two counter up. There's a recent high. Then you get the trend change. This is what helps you out. The big red thick arrow. Then she comes back up. You know you're now at wave three possible leg. The other thing is, is that once you get that trend change, the first retracement typically should be a wave three down, a wave three up. It's the same way, Ted. You got it, buddy. But I'm making this simple for you with the arrows and also my trend change helps you out. The what you have to identify, Ed, what you have to do is you have to identify if it's a recent high or recent low. Does that make sense, man? Because you got to know if that's the Elliott Wave starting point. Let me show you guys on the Elliott Wave. You see, this is an Elliott Wave recent low on how I like to do it. Whoops. If you understand this concept, you're going to go a long way in the room. Here's a recent low. There's your trend change. Look for the pullback on the number three. The first pullback after a trend change should be a number three. The first pullback after a trend change should be a number three. And that's without even qualifying the trade. But I take it a step further. I like to qualify it. Has it hit a recent high? Yes. There's my two. When, it, when a trend change comes up, my big, big giant arrow. So I know I'm in a possible wave three down. There's your Elliott Wave leg. Right? Had a recent low. Trend changes. So I know my recent low. You can calculate the, the leg here. Does it stop between 62 to 76 percent with the arrow? Yes, it does. Then you're in a leg three when the arrow pops up. That's, that's two back-to-back -back Elliott Waves. One short, one long. The, the point I want to hit home with you before I, I go back to this, I'll go back to crude before I shut this off. The point I have to go to you, have you been in a recent high, right? If you see the trend changes, they're easy to pick off because you know you've been a two wave up, possible three wave down. If it stops between 62 to 76%, we had a lot of them last week that stopped right on it. Okay, then it had a recent low, had a trend change. You know you're in a wave two possible down. Take the leg retracement. You don't have to do the retracement if you don't want to, but I'm telling you how I like to qualify, see if I got a good one on my hands. It's easy to see the one, two, three pattern. Okay? One, two, three pattern. Everybody understand the one, two, three pattern? Hit me a wife, you understand that. Everybody on the same page? You got to see if you're at a recent high or recent low. You got to see if there's a trend change to help you out with the number two leg. Because that knows you're going into number three on the first retracement. Now, if you're not, if you don't have a trend change here, guys and gals, right? A blue arrow and a red arrow, and, 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 then you know you don't have a possible leg three, right? Then you have to take all trades with a five minute trend. All arrows with the five-minute trend, that's what happened on crude oil. That's another rule in my room. The other second rule is this. You can't counter, you can't counter J signal, even with Elliott, unless 
you get outside a market profile. You break HVA, you retest, you're allowed to take that trade right there. That's the only time you encounter. I should never hear anybody else say, is this a good counter trend trade? Well, did it break through market profile? If it did not, you should not take a counter trend trade. Even if it's an Elliott wave, it's a little dangerous. Even if it stops at 62 to 76%, you're asking for a little bit of danger. All right, you, sh you guys should never take those. There's too many trade setups for that. Jerry, go to crude oil. We're going to shut that off in a minute. I'll go to crude. Crude oil. Take a look at it. Market profile not only is good for ABC longs or ABC shorts, they are great for support and resistance. Here's the last crude trade. Remember, when you're trading for a buy, We give you three qualifications when you trade J signal right here. Right there. Buy setups. Look for Elliott Wave 3 and 5. These are the impulse waves with J signal. What does that mean? If you just come from a recent low and have a trend change just like on gold I just showed you, look for a 3 and Wave 5 on the first pullback. If, if, if you're not having a trend change right away and arrows just pop up, you can only take arrows with 5 minute trend. This last crude trade, Five-minute moving averages are up. You can only take arrows up. You can't take counter-trend arrows. You can't take counter-trend arrows. Okay? Number three, you can counter the market only if you break through market profile with an ABC long or ABC short, just like on that big long gold trade, that $600 move we had a second ago. If it's against five-minute trend, that's the only time you can take the arrows, counter the market. These are your three ways right here. That's it. That's as simple as that. Keep it simple. Don't make this difficult. That's it right there. The best Elliott waves will be on your three sim. Your five sim Rico will pick up these long big moves. You can have it right beside it. You get some real nice big ones beside it. But your best trades are going to be off of the Elliott wave off the three. But you do get the five sim Rico. Here's your five sim on gold that big move up. Check this out. I mean, does it get any prettier than that? Right there, big move up. That's how we like to do it. Here's a non-farm payroll release that we had. Look at that move. Now, here's the thing about it is the black stop line. If you are close, a lot of traders got confused over this last week. If you're that close to my big black line, just wait for a trend change for a stop out. Look how they overlap each other on this big trade we had for non-farm payrolls off the 5 sim. It overlapped this one. If you're that close, this is a 100-tick trade, a $1,000 trade potential yesterday, Friday, we had just after news. I said, wait till 835, let five minutes, let it settle down with non-farm payrolls. We let it settle down Friday, and I said, take the arrows. Bam. Thanks for coming to work. Right? If you're that close to the black line, when that black line's drawn in, when those arrows print, if it's right over top of that big black line, just wait for a big, giant red or green arrow to get you out because that's going to be major support. Okay, major support. But this is a five sim Renko. You should have this set up on your own charts like this on all markets. You should have a three and five right beside each other like this. Okay, so this morning's trade, same thing. You should have them set up just like this, right like this. You see today, or this morning, how we got that pullback on J signal but it never closed below the black line. It's allowed to break it with the wicks, but never closed down here on this big giant move up. This big wave three up on the three sim also caught on the five sim Rinko. Caught that big giant leg up. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. Depending where your fill was, it was just under 100 ticks. 
Okay? But put that as how you should be on your own ninja charts. Five beside the three. That's all the two time frames you need to do. Five beside the three. Three, qualify it with the Elliott Wave signals. And those are three ways to do it.